Can you recognize what this is? Sure you can. Let's have some fun. I'm going to prove to you that you know exactly what this is. First of all, if you look closely, you could see that uh, you are dealing with a squamous kind of mucosa over here, except it is uh, very much inflamed and perhaps even necrotic, but at least infiltrated by tons of these acute inflammatory cells, almost causing a loss of recognition of the uh, cells of the squamous mucosa. Underneath, we see some uh, mucus secreting glands. And underneath that, we could see some uh, classical skeletal muscle fibers. But what we see mostly is the fact that this organ is kind of a uh, lymphoid. And here are all the lymphoid follicles. And uh, not only do you see a bunch of lymphoid follicles, but they are, appear to be numerous, increased, and larger. This is a follicular hyperplasia of a tonsil. And that would explain all the features we just described, but it is also a very significant marked acute inflammation of this uh, squamous mucosa, which is forming either the edge of the tonsil or perhaps leading into a tonsillar crypt, C-R-Y-P-T, just to show you that these are all uh, neutrophils in here. Let's take a quick confirmation of that all neutrophils, all fibrin, and a lot of blood vessels. This is an acute tonsillitis. It's also associated with a follicular hyperplasia as well, although follicular hyperplasia is more likely with a chronic tonsillitis. Any upper respiratory agent, bacteria, virus, fungus, whatever, can cause an acute tonsillitis. It's not specific for anything. Often, when you see somebody's tonsils enlarged, you think strep. Well, strep is one of many things, and it's one of the most common things. But the fact is, uh, often strep is the thing to be ruled out, because if you can rule this out or in, you could then treat that person for strep quickly because of the possible complications of uh, renal and cardiac uh, complications. The fact is, all that this is, quite honestly, is an acute necrotizing tonsillitis. Thank you very much.